Why, when all eyes are fixed on the J-20 stealth fighter, is the Chinese Air Force instead racing to mass-produce the seemingly unremarkable J-10C? This seemingly counterintuitive phenomenon reveals the deeper logic of modern Air Force development. The most cutting-edge weapons are not necessarily the most urgent. Equipment best suited to battlefield demands is what ultimately determines victory. Amidst the applause for the J-20's stealth capabilities, the J-10C, dubbed the most capable third-and-a-half generation fighter, is quietly becoming the most solid and urgent pillar supporting China's air defense network, thanks to its irreplaceable practicality and cost-effectiveness. To grasp this, we must first break free from the mindset that equates the most advanced with the most essential. The J-20 is undoubtedly a national treasure. Its emergence propelled the Chinese Air Force into the elite club of global stealth fighter nations, and its strategic deterrence value cannot be overstated. Yet this is akin to a family that can afford a Rolls-Royce Phantom, but wouldn't drive it daily for commuting grocery shopping, or picking up children. The same principle applies to a modern air force pursuing cost-effectiveness and integrated operations. The J-20 faces two stark constraints. First, its staggering production cost and full-life S-cycle maintenance expenses. As China's fifth-generation fighter integrating the nation's most advanced aviation technologies, from costly stealth coatings and complex sensor fusion systems to the expenses incurred by its high-thrust engines, the J-20's unit price and maintenance requirements far exceed any third-generation or upgraded third-generation fighter. According to estimates by multiple experts based on publicly available data, the cost of a single J-20 could fund the purchase of at least two fully equipped J-10Cs. For a defense budget that must carefully balance expenditures on equipment procurement, personnel training, and technological R&D each year, Replacing the entire existing fleet with J-20S in the short term would impose unbearable financial pressure. Second is the requirement for mission adaptability in a modern Air Force. A healthy Air Force equipment system requires a balanced mix of high-end and low-end capabilities. The J-20's design positioning makes it more akin to a surgical scalpel. For the early stages of a campaign, tasked with breaching enemy defenses, Leveraging its stealth and beyond visual range attack advantages to penetrate dense enemy air defense networks and high threat airspace, clearing a safe passage for subsequent waves of aircraft. However, the Air Force's routine mission spectrum is exceptionally broad, encompassing extensive territorial air defense patrols, border surveillance standoffs, routine exercises and training, as well as medium to low intensity air superiority contests. If all these tasks were assigned to the J 20, it would not only severely deplete its stealth service life, but also represent an extremely inefficient use of resources, like using a cannon to swat a fly, trapping elite assets in the quagmire of routine duties. Precisely for this reason, the J-10C's unique value is being amplified to its fullest during this strategic window, making it the most urgently needed multi-role fighter in the Air Force's operational lineup. Its foremost defining feature is its exceptional cost-effectiveness. While the unit cost of the J-10C is significantly lower than that of the J-20, its demonstrated performance firmly places it at the pinnacle of third-and-a-half generation fighters, even approaching fifth-generation capabilities in certain aspects. It is equipped with an advanced active phased array radar, achieving a qualitative leap in detection range and multi-target tracking capability compared to traditional mechanically scanned radars. It integrates a highly integrated avionics system and electronic countermeasure equipment, endowing it with formidable battlefield situational awareness capabilities. More importantly, it can carry and launch the PL-15 ultra-long-range air-to-air missile. The missile's range and inescapable zone grant the J-10C the lethal capability to detect and engage targets beyond visual range first giving it a significant advantage in air combat against most third-generation fighters and even some early fourth-generation fighters in the region. Another key advantage lies in the J-10C's ability to rapidly achieve and sustain operational combat readiness at scale. Compared to stealth fighters requiring climate-controlled hangars, specialized stealth maintenance equipment, and more complex ground support systems, the J-10C offers far greater deployment flexibility. It imposes relatively lower demands on forward operating bases or standard airfields, directly translating into higher sortie rates and enhanced wartime survivability. Regarding pilot training systems, transitioning from existing models like the J-10A, B and J-11 to the J-10C involves a relatively shorter conversion training cycle and faster pilot adaptation. This enables frontline combat units to receive new aircraft, and achieve combat readiness in a shorter time frame, which is crucial for rapidly filling capability gaps. More importantly, 
the J-10C has seamlessly assumed the role of an all-rounder within the Air Force's operational framework. It excels in a wide range of missions, from securing air superiority in contested airspace to executing precision strikes against maritime and ground targets, from intercepting and repelling intruders at medium range to engaging in close-range dogfights armed with dogfight missiles. In the East China Sea and South China Sea, where we frequently see aerial standoffs and combat readiness missions in the news, the J-10C has become the main force countering foreign aircraft, conducting close reconnaissance and provocative maneuvers. Its frequent appearances are the best testament to the importance and reliability of its missions. Expanding our perspective to examine the overall composition of the Chinese Air Force reveals the urgency of the J-10C's role. Despite the continuous induction of new fighters, like the J-20, J-16, and J-10C, the Air Force still operates a significant number of second-generation fighters such as the J-7 and J-8. Though these veterans have undergone modernization upgrades and continue to serve in specific roles, their fundamental airframe platforms, avionics capabilities, and weapon systems struggle to match the capabilities of the fourth and a half and fifth-generation fighters such as the F-35, F-15X, Rafale, and Typhoon being deployed by neighboring nations and regions. This has created a pronounced generational gap in equipment. During this critical transition period between old and new generations, the J-10C serves as the ideal bridge. It can be rapidly produced and delivered at a pace far exceeding that of older models, swiftly replacing these capability gaps. Moreover, it forms a classic high-low mix tactical system with heavy fighters, like the J-20 and J-16 to form a classic high-low mix tactical system. The J-20 would take the lead in neutralizing key threats at the front end, while the high-volume, cost-effective J-10C, in coordination with the J-16, would follow up to secure the battlefield, consolidate and expand gains, and execute subsequent diversified air superiority and strike missions. This combination is both economical and highly effective, representing the optimal solution proven by the world's leading air forces. The U.S. Air Force itself serves as the prime reference. Despite fielding 187 top-tier F-22 Raptor stealth fighters, it maintains a fleet exceeding 1,000 F-16 fighting Falcons and continues upgrading them. The core logic is ensuring sufficient numbers of high-performance fighters to cover a broad spectrum of global mission requirements within budget constraints. Looking ahead, the large-scale production and deployment of the J-10C signify far more than merely filling numbers on an organizational chart. It enables the Chinese Air Force to achieve a collective leap in the quality of its primary combat equipment within a short time frame. While many neighboring nations and regions still rely primarily on traditional third-generation fighters like the F-16 Block 50 50 seconds, MiG-29, and Mirage 2000, the organized, large-scale deployment of the J-10C, a fighter representing the pinnacle of third-and-a-half generation capabilities, signifies that we have established a broad generational advantage on the technological front forming formidable regional air superiority capabilities. Simultaneously, its deployment and efficient operation have created crucial conditions for the J-20 to be deployed, where it matters most. This allows the valuable stealth fighter to focus on the most critical and lethal strike missions while delegating routine, high-consumption air superiority and patrol duties to the more cost-effective J-10C. This clear division of tasks embodies the wisdom and essence of modern systemic warfare. In summary, the J-20, represents the Chinese Air Force's long sword and sturdy shield for the future, serving as a strategic deterrent force, while the J-10C is the key player in seizing the present, sustaining daily air defense pressure, and countering immediate threats. The J-10C is precisely such a silent and reliable guardian, it may lack the dazzling aura of the J-20, but it stands as the most practical, urgently needed, an indispensable cornerstone of combat capability that the Chinese Air Force must accelerate into production and service.